Right, weather-wise, lots to talk about with the tropics. Out east, really quickly, we have Kirk, Hurricane Kirk now a three. We have Hurricane Leslie now a one. And we have another wave coming off the coast of Africa with a 30% chance of development. So that's what's going on out east. But what we want to know about is what's happening in our own backyard in the Gulf of Mexico. We have an organizing system. We have Tropical Storm Milton. And Milton is located over extremely warm water temperatures. You see these dark darker shades of maroon that gives you an idea that we're talking about water temperatures close to 90 degrees which is like high octane jet fuel to tropical systems so that plus uh, low wind shear it doesn't have anything to stop it from intensifying and so it will intensify right now max winds only at 40 it's moving to the north northeast at three but you can see the spaghetti models clo uh, closely clustered and that's due to two disturbances dropping south Southward that are going to keep Milton uh, on this kind of east-northeastward track. So that's why we have to watch it so very, very closely. Now it's moving to the north-northeast at three, but it'll pick up a uh, speed in time and strength. So by Tuesday afternoon, we're looking at a major hurricane here in the central Gulf. And then right now, this is in the center of the cone. But again, it doesn't mean this is where it's going to make landfall. It just means it could be making landfall anywhere in this cone as a major category three. So West West Coast on high alert. We're also on alert here on the East Coast because we are likely to see tropical storm force winds as well as lots of moisture that could lead to flooding. So we're taking this very seriously as we expect a plume of tropical moisture to move overhead, especially uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now it'll be a little bit rainy Monday and Tuesday, but I think Monday and Tuesday will be the bulk of the tropical moisture. Then as we get into Thursday, we'll start to see things clearing up, but very windy as well right through the work week. So right now, the good news, no watches and warnings yet. Hurricane wind probabilities, not too high for the East Coast, less than 10%, but tropical storm wind probabilities are much higher, 47% for Stewart, and likely uh, these percentages will climb over the next day or two. So it has a fairly large wind field. There you can see the tropical storm force winds extend uh, to the uh, extent of the yellow polygon there. And so that means it moves pretty much right over the Palm Beaches and the Treasure Coast. Again, the highest wind staying just to our north. But things will change in the coming days. That's why uh, please pay close attention to this developing system. Rain is probably the biggest issue we are going to see. Models indicating anywhere from about 6 to 10 inches of rain possible for our area, but we could have localized higher amounts. And of course, that would result in flooding concerns. Right now, we have some showers over uh, North Palm Beach County and to Stewart, but no lightning, no strong storms and temperatures in the mid-range of the 80s. So an excessive rainfall threat continues through Tuesday. And uh, at times, it's a two out of five flood watch through uh, Wednesday evening. So we are uh, definitely looking at high amounts of rain tonight. Things winding down a little bit overnight and then Sunday we'll continue to see scattered storms. We'll still have some breaks in the action, but by Monday and Tuesday rain chances increasing. Here's your seven day forecast. Tuesday and Wednesday we are looking at the possibility of tropical storm conditions. This is the area we have been watching, the Gulf of Mexico, where we have lots of showers and storms. We have an area of low pressure developing off the coast of Florida, which will help bring us extra rain uh, Sunday, Monday, not associated with Milton. Milton is uh, back to the west, but Milton is expected to strengthen very quickly as it is over very warm uh, sea surface temperatures, as well as in an environment with low wind shear. So tropical Storm Milton moving to the north northeast at five. Max winds now 45, so that's up from 40 at the five o'clock advisory. Uh, and now let's show you the uh, spaghetti models on Milton, pretty clustered somewhere across the west coast uh, from near the Big Bend region to almost around the Fort Myers region. So we still have a long ways to watch this, a couple of days at least, but it will start to intensify once it gets into the uh, central Gulf 
of Mexico. So here's the cone. Uh, right now, it does look to make landfall as a Category 3 with wind speeds of 115 miles per hour. Now, just because uh, the icon is over Tampa doesn't mean that it couldn't be anywhere within this cone. Notice the cone includes all of Palm Beach County and the Treasure Coast. So that's why we need to pay very close attention to Milton. And Milton seems to uh, race off into the Atlantic by Thursday, well offshore. We're under a flood watch here in South Florida and for the Treasure Coast, all of the West Coast too, through Thursday morning. Now, rainfall totals uh, looking to be around 5 to 10 inches, but we could have isolated higher amounts. So flooding could be a real concern. Tropical storm wind probabilities here on the East Coast, right around 54% for Stewart. So that has come up since the uh, earlier models, 45% in West Palm Beach. We're going to see some gusty winds for sure. Now, hurricane wind probabilities stay very low at this time, but we'll be updating you as we head into to that time and the wind field stretches out from the center of circulation. So right now the wind field will cover most of the Palm Beaches and the Treasure Coast. The only exception, the extreme southeastern corner there might not get clipped with those tropical storm force winds. Again, we have time to watch a little bit. Things will fluctuate a little bit and we will uh, let you know what impacts will change. So uh, Monday and uh, late Monday, we're expecting extra rain as well as Sunday with that area of low pressure. But then here comes Milton and a big swath of tropical moisture moves overhead, but quickly pushes offshore by Thursday. So we are looking at uh, uh, quickly improving weather. We're also tracking Hurricane Kirk, a Cat 3, and also Hurricane Leslie, a Cat 1, another area with a 30% chance of development, but these two name storms will not impact us. We're looking good uh, with those. Now, here's our seven-day rainfall totals, and we can be up towards of uh, seven, ten inches of rain, so we'll be uh, monitoring that very closely for you. We are under an excessive rainfall threat, and that will likely extend into Wednesday. Here is your seven-day forecast. So, tomorrow and Monday, heavy downpours likely, but uh, we'll see some sun sunshine, not a whole lot, but it's Tuesday, Wednesday. We expect the biggest impacts from Milton staying windy through the rest of the work week, a 70% chance with tropical storm conditions on Wednesday.